Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And yes, we are covering double click functionality. We firstly displayed the data from VBAK table. We enabled the functions in the application toolbar. Then I explained how you can find that double click event. It is not available in CLSALV table class. You have to call a method get underscore event. When you call that method, you will get the object of another class. And in that class, we have the method. We have the event double underscore click. So firstly, we will call the method. Then we will go for same to same event topic. We will go for triggering method, event handler method, and registration of event handler method. That is itself a event topic. So firstly, I will call the method. So we will call the method. I will go to pattern. I will go to a back object patterns. So what is the object of CLSALV table class? It's LO underscore ALV1. What is our class? CLSALV underscore table. Now we will simply, simply call the method get underscore event. So I will see where the get underscore event method is. This is the method. I will go for enter. Suppose here I will write hello underscore events. Now this is a object. If I want to check the type of this object, I will simply, simply double click on to this method. Value is of this. Yes, it is an object because it is an instance because it is type ref. I will simply copy and I will write. I will write data hello underscore events type ref to this particular class. So now we have the object of this particular events class. And in this class, we have the event double underscore click. We have the event double underscore click. Then we will go for hotspot click also. Now the knowledge of event topic will play a vital role. Same to same learning, but we all know we have three things. What is first thing? Triggering method which will raise the event. Event handler method, which will handle the event. And then we need to register the event handler method. Now, we will suppose if I am running this particular program, if I am running this particular program, whenever we will double click, whenever we will double click, whenever we will double click, which particular event will trigger? Double click event will trigger. Who will handle the event? Event handler method. And then we need to register the event handler method. So firstly, we need to go for event handler method. Then we will register the event handler method. There is no need to go for triggering method because whenever we will double click, yes, any this double click event is triggering, yes. So we will go for your event handler method. Whenever we will double click, yes, double click event will trigger. Who will handle that double click event? Event handler method will handle that event. And then we will register the event handler method. When we cover this double click, through CLGUI ALV grid class, if you remember, we created a event handler method for CLGUI ALV grid class. 
Now, rather than CL, GUI, ALV grid class, we will go for this particular class. You cannot create an event handler method for this class because in this in this class because in this class there is no such event at all. We simply did the further navigation, and in this class we have the event. So now we will go for event handler method. Same to same previous learning will play a vital role. Suppose I am creating a class. Class, class one, definition. Now I will go for end class. Now we will create a event handler method. For which event? Double click event. So I will write methods. You all know whenever you are writing methods, it is an instance method. It means whenever we will go for this method, we will always call through object methods. Suppose my name of the method is handler. For which event? For event. For event. Which event? Double underscore click. You can check the name here itself. In this class itself. What is the name of the event? If I will double click. You can see we have the event. Double underscore click. Of which particular class? This particular class. Of this particular class. So this is a event handler method for double click event of this particular class. So this is a event handler method. And yes, now we need to write the logic into this event handler method. So we will simply simply create a implementation. So I will write class, class one, implementation, and class. Now, what is the name of the method handler? So I will write method. What is the name of the method handler? And now I will write end method. So what we did, we simply created a event handler method for double click event of this particular class during CL, GUI, ALB grid. You did the same to same thing. You created a event handler method for double click of CL, GUI, ALB grid class. Now, Whenever we want to write the logic, we need to create implementation. So now we will write the logic into this particular method. That's a later part, yes. So the event handler part is over. Now we need to register the event handler method also because without registration, how system will know, yes, how system will call this event handler method so lastly, we need to register the event handler method. So how we will register the event handler method? I will simply, simply go for registration of event handler method. Now, firstly, I will declare the object because see, whenever I want to call this particular method, whenever I want to call this is the instance method. So I require a object object. So how I will do? I will simply declare a object. So I will write data. Hello underscore suppose I will write object. Type ref. Now I will simply simply go for hello underscore object type ref to 
class one because we have the object into this we have the method into this particular class we need to register the event handler method of this particular class now object creation is compulsory yes so i will write create object create object hello underscore object so our object is created now how you will register the event handler method you all know we have the syntax set handler we are registering the event handler method what is our event handler method what is the name of our event handler method handler handler so i will simply write hello underscore object because whenever i want to register this event handler method yes i this is a instance method instance method so we can always always go through object what is the object hello underscore object and what is the name of the method handler we are registering the event handler method this is the event handler method for what for what so i will simply simply write for what is the object what is the object of your event class event class hello underscore events so i will simply simply go for hello underscore event now i will simply go for checking the syntax before checking the syntax one important part because people will confuse here see when we cover cl gui alv grid class at that time we have the event is available in this class itself so we simply return for whatever the object of that particular class cl gui alv grid in cl salv table you do not have the event available if you see you do not have the event available into this particular class because maximum people will write here for lo underscore alv1 just see in your class this cl salv table no event available your event is into this particular class into this particular class just see the navigation from cl salv table we got a object of another class and in that the events are available so we need to register for that we need to register for that and this is the most most important factor and maximum people are doing the mistake here now i will check the syntax and i will get the error statement not accessible so firstly i will simply write here public section i forgot to write public section now whenever i will check the syntax i will get a error statement is not accessible see this particular logic should only execute whenever you will double click and this logic should execute whenever i will click on to the execute button so how this logic should execute as a part of start of selection event so whenever you will get a error statement not accessible you need to tell that this logic will execute as a part of start of selection event so i will simply write here start of selection now i will check the syntax method handler i think i will correct the mistake h a n d l e r i will check the syntax and i will activate important video so what is the summary of this particular video we covered so many important things here firstly 
we call the method get underscore event of CLSALB table class. We got a object of another class. Now, same to same, the knowledge of event topic will play a vital role. What are the three things? Triggering method, which raise the event. Event handler method, which will handle the event. Then we need to register the event handler method. Triggering method is not applicable here because we already have the double click event. Yes. So now we have the double click event. Double click event is raising. So now we need to handle. So who will handle event handler method? So we simply created a class. We declared one method for event double click of this particular class. We simply return the implementation because we can write the logic into implementation. Now, we need to register the event handler method. So your method handler is a instance method. It means you need to declare object which will refer to the class. You need to create the object how you will register the event handler method through set handler. We are saying this method will act as a event handler method for this, for this. Now the maximum mistake is done here. People will say, I am double clicking. I am double clicking onto this particular ALV. What is the ALV object? LO underscore ALV1. So people will write LO underscore ALV1. This is applicable when we cover CLGUI ALV grid because in the same class we have the event available. Now this is not the case. Your get event method is giving another object and in this we have the event available. Ultimately each and everything is same. But now we are going for hierarchy, hierarchy. So this class is giving the object of another class. So we need to write here LO underscore event. We cannot write LO underscore ALV1. Just see, if I will write here, system will give me the error. If I will write LO underscore ALV1, if I'll check the syntax, it will simply say that the you cannot go for events by using this class. Events are in dedicated this particular class itself. So this is the right statement. And important from the interview perspective also. Now at the last, what happened? We did everything, but we got a error statement not accessible. And maximum people are struggling how, how we will resolve that particular error. We need to tell SAP that this logic will execute whenever I will click on to this execute button. And this logic will execute whenever I will double click. So we simply call the event so that SAP understand this is the part of your execute event. And this is the part of your double click event. In the next video, I will show you in the debugging mode is our method is triggering and then we will write the logic for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.